We are back with part two of the Makeup Revolution Neon Collection First Impressions. So we posted part one a couple days ago. Those were the more neutral palettes in the collection, I would say. Both of these have a little bit of a darker shade range. Uh, this one is mainly pinks and purples. This is the uh, Party Vibes palette. And then this one right here is mainly green and dark purple. And this one is the Up All Night collection. So the other two, one I believe, they're both dream related. One was not a dream and one was like living in dreams. It was very Inception-like. It, Anyway, I did wind up liking those. When I was doing them, I was kind of unsure, but after seeing the video and after walking around all day, they're $9 a piece. You get nine shades in it. I think they're actually a really good deal. Um, I'm interested to test these though, because I think these, um, the colors just feel a little disjointed in some of them for me. Like they go together, but it's just, I feel like it's gonna be a little bit more challenging to create like a cohesive look. Whereas the other one, um, I felt like the whole, they, they were all in like the same boat, if that makes sense. I, I may be also just thinking too much into it. But anyway, um, I did also say in the beginning of that video that I wanted to get these as a dupe, hopefully for the Huda Beauty Neon Collection. I don't think that's at all what they are. After like getting them and seeing the shades, I was like, let's scratch that. Let's do something different with it. So yeah, so that's what we're doing today. Uh, quick rundown of what I'm thinking. I'm gonna do, to clarify, I'll do this eye, the green, and this eye, the pink. What I'm thinking is, for uh, my my lid color, I'm gonna do this, uh, blend it out probably with this one, and then do a like lighter blend out with that one. Um, I'll go in and do a demi cut crease, and we'll do probably this glitter shade on it because that's the most green. And I'm thinking we're gonna do this as like kind of a darkening color, and maybe on my under eye as well. But we'll see how I'm feeling. The same thing on this eye. We're gonna go in with the center shade as the uh, the lid color. I'm gonna blend it out probably with that shade. Um, I'm thinking for the glitter pigment, I'm gonna actually go in with this one after I do the cut crease. Um, we're gonna darken it probably with this purple and then do that on the under eye as well. And probably use this one as a highlight. Um, I didn't pick out a highlight shade in this one, but I'm guessing it's probably gonna end up being this guy right here. So yeah, so that's just a rundown of what we're gonna do. And um, like I said, I've been trying to come up with like fun topics to talk about for each video. So today I'm actually going to, um, to get a little bit uh, more personal, stuff that I don't really talk about a lot. Um, but I think it's stuff that people find interesting. I'm going to talk about, um, I know a lot of people are really interested in the supernatural. Personally, I'm a big believer in uh, many aspects of the supernatural. Some things I'm a little more skeptical about, but things like ghosts, demons, witchcraft, I think all of that is very real. Aliens, I think is very real. I think it's crazy to think we're in this huge galaxy and we're the only like intelligent species out there. So yeah, so there's a lot of things that I believe, but um, today, I'm gonna kind of share with you guys um, some of my own like personal experiences and things about me. So before we start jumping into that aspect of it, let's go ahead and get the uh, the brushes ready. Let's do that, that's important. Uh, the brush is ready for the initial lay down of color on, uh, on my eyelids. So I'm gonna start, I think, with the pink one. Oh, puppy came in, hi puppy. She's gonna start immediately causing trouble because that's what she does every time we sit down to film. She's like, hi, pay me attention. So anyway, sorry, puppy distraction. All right, so yep, there she goes. Look at her. She looks like a yoga instructor, just like all twisted up like a little pretzel. Yep, yep. Anyway, we're gonna start with the lid. We're gonna start with the pink side and then we'll just kind of go back and forth so we can see how each side lays down. So anyway, back to the story. So what I was thinking, the reason I was thinking about it, the reason I, I came to decide to talk about this particular subject today. 2020 has undoubtedly been an incredibly hard year for everybody. On so many different levels, there's a lot of just sadness and anger and pain in the world and, and fear and, and bad things. It doesn't mean there haven't been good things that have happened, but it's just been a really challenging year, I think, for most people. Um, for, you know, like I said, many different reasons. For me personally, I was talking with my mom about it on the weekend, and I don't really talk a lot about this. I just kind of live with it, and it kind of happens, and that's kind of fine. Um, but I would classify myself as an empath, and everybody who you know has empathic tendencies kind of manifests it in a different way. And it was something I really didn't even understand that I had until I was much older. I think I was probably about like, I think I definitely was out of college before I really realized like what was happening and why I would feel the way I would feel. But you know, being a, a theater student, a naturally dramatic human, I just kind of always assumed that it was just, you know, my own emotions that I was experiencing. And I really started to realize that I could like sense other people's just presences, if that makes sense. 
Um, a lot of this may be confusing. If it is, I'm incredibly sorry, but I, like I said, I don't really talk about it very often. So it's just something that I'm, to try and like find the words to explain it may not make sense. And if it doesn't, please ask me in the comments to clarify uh, why I sound uh, like I'm on drugs. I promise I'm not. <laughs> and you don't have to believe me, um, but it's something that, I mean, I, I don't question. I'm pretty positive about it. But anyway, we're moving on with the green eye while I'm, while I'm talking, while I'm rambling. For backstory, for, for historical purposes, to understand my family dynamic a little bit. My mom continued to work after she had me and she stopped working when she had my brother. But because of that, my grandma, my mom's mom watched me when I was little. So I had a really close relationship with her. Really quickly, this green is not laying down as well as I hoped it would. The pink is doing well. I kind of like what happened here. Um, the green is just, this is the darkest green shade and it's just a little bit patchy and I'm not loving that. But what are you gonna do? We're gonna make it work. So my, um, my mom's mom, my Nana, she watched me when I was a baby and she, she passed when I was seven, but we were incredibly close. Um, she was like my best friend and, and I loved her very dearly. And so losing her at such a young age was very hard. She was what my grandfather, who I never got to meet, uh, called, she called her a witch. She wasn't actually a witch. She wasn't like a practicing Wiccan or anything like that, but she was definitely psychic. Like she dreamt about her death, like for two months before it happened. And not every night or anything. She didn't know exactly how it was gonna happen or when it was gonna happen, but she would just have dreams like, certain things would, she would tell my mom like, just this is gonna, this, I don't know why I'm feeling this, but there's like gonna be a stranger in my house within like a week of me dying. And, and my aunt had a new boyfriend. My aunt lived with her. My aunt had a new boyfriend within a week of her dying. So it was like, it, you know, it was just like, she she pegged some things that were really like unsettling. So, so my aunt, my, I mean, my Nana always had that kind of gift. I didn't really like focus on it, just kind of was things that would happen and I'm like, whatever. My mom has the same tendencies. We live in North Carolina, just for purposes of understanding the story. Uh, like she was working as an accountant at a hospital when Hurricane Hugo hit and we were not, the area we were in was not at all predicted to get hit with Hugo. This is my mom, by the way. My mom was like positive that we were gonna get a direct hit here. Um, this is long before I was born. And she was like, we gotta board up our house. We gotta, she told the hospital that they needed to board up their windows in their area and they listened to her. And of course the, our area was directly hit and then everybody was like without power for two weeks and it was horrible. There were no supplies and stuff. So it was like the worst, definitely the worst hurricane to ever hit our area, I think. So <laughs> one of the guys my mom worked with at the hospital was like, so what are you a witch? And she was like, I just had a feeling, but so yeah, so that's, it's in my family is what I'm kind of saying. All right, so I'm now going to do the blending shades. I'm gonna start with the green just cause I've already grabbed a brush and put a little bit on there. Um, I'm gonna try and, I'm trying to fix the green is what I'm hoping will happen is, when I first started with the other palettes, I was kind of in the same spot where I was like, I'm not sure I'm loving these colors. And then when I started doing the blending shades, it started coming out a lot better. So that's what I'm kind of hoping is gonna happen here. We'll say, we'll say. Anyway, back to my my family uh, history with the, the psychic tendencies we have. So as a little kid, I recognized that I had deja vu pretty consistently in my dreams. Nothing made, I never dreamt about like a major event. I never dreamt about like a major life event in my own life or in history or anything. I just, I would just have dreams and literally almost daily parts of my dreams would happen. And I just wouldn't understand. I'd be like, I've lived this before, but it was in my dream. And I also like, I like dream history a lot too. Like thinking about how people perceive dreams and how they see it. So my dreams never are clear. They're always fuzzy. Like I always see, like I know who people are in them and who they're supposed to be, but they're always like not quite what they look like in, in actuality. And it's always a little bit grainy and, and kind of like I'm looking at it through like a fish lens type thing. It's just, it's weird, but it's clear in my mind. And when I wake up and then I can recall it, it's all fuzzy, if that makes sense. So I can always tell when it happened in a dream and when it, I'm now living it for the first time because they see them differently. We're going in with the pink blending shade now. I do like, see, I, I said that, and this really, I feel like helped it a lot, kind of make it look less patchy. I don't know. I just, I, I feel like as soon as I get the blending shades on is when I really start to appreciate these palettes a little bit more. And I, I will say these colors, I was a little bit worried, but they are, pretty neon like they were they're paying off pretty neon these two pinks don't seem to have a lot of shade variation which kind of is a bummer but that's okay i mean it's it is what it is you know it's not bad though it's not i don't hate it it's just not as much of a difference as i would hope to see but i feel like that happens a lot with pinks and reds you kind of get like they look different on a pan and then when you start blending them out and putting them on they kind of always meld together and like run together like they're almost the same shade so i think that's kind of what we're seeing here too and who's it 
I've always had deja vu. That has nothing to do with me being an empath, I don't think. It just is like, that's just another weird thing about me. Yeah, so let's get into the empath thing. So I started to recognize it when, really when I started like working full time and I would be in the environments and I could pick up on people's energies when they came in for a shift. And my biggest downfall of, of especially like, <laughs> especially when I first started really discovering it was that I just would be totally influenced by their emotions. So if somebody comes in pissed off, like it's gonna put me in a bad mood immediately. Like trying to explain it to my mom was very challenging, but she gets it cause she's also an empath. I'm going in now with that last blending shade for the green. Cause I think that's going to just make it look a little bit cooler. Cooler is in like, I think it's just gonna look neat having all the, the color go all the way up to the brow line, not like it's gonna cool down the tones at all because it's already, I mean, it's already green, so it's already like technically classified as a cool tone. I don't know. I'm rambling, I'm sorry. So yeah, so I was trying to explain to my mom and I was like, basically like when I, when I see it, I can like physically see in my mind, not out, outwardly, but like in my mind, the way I picture it is like a cloud. And when people are in a bad mood, it comes in as like black smoke. And then it like comes, it, it like comes outward and then sinks into me. And hers, she feels it in her core and then it radiates out of her. So it's like an inverse. It's so, I, I love here, like if anybody else watching this is also an empath, I would love to hear how you guys manifest it because I think it's just amazing how basically we can all kind of feel the same thing, but in just such different ways. So, um, so yeah, so she manifests hers from inside and then like it pushes outward. Um, so she'll talk about like, she's just had these like moments where she's like, there, it did, the emotions make absolutely no sense and I'm sitting there and all of a sudden like I can just feel it burning inside of me. I'm like, why am I feeling this? And then she realizes she's picking up on somebody else. Um, for me, like when people would come into work and they'd be like upset or even if they were just quiet and they didn't say anything, I could feel if they were like angry or upset or something. And so I had to really learn how to not let it impact me. And I'm not very good at it if I'm being 100% honest, I'm actually, incredibly bad at it. I'm gonna go do my cut crease now. Back to my original. I'm jumping all over the place because one, I have undiagnosed ADD and I'm aware of that, but I, it is what it is. I'm this old and I've lived with it, so I'll be fine. But <laughs> but also because it's just really hard to explain it, especially since I've honestly, besides like my mom, I've never really talked about it. I don't even think I've told Nikki like the way my empathy manifests. Like he knows that I have deja vu. He knows that I like feel the emotions that are around me, but he doesn't really understand like I don't think I've ever told him like, oh yeah, I see it as like a smoke rolling in. Cause like, that sounds insane, but it is what it is. Like, okay, uh, here we are. Ba basically, I see emotions as like smoke. When people are happy, I see it differently. I see it almost as like a, there is like a cloud, but then there's like light coming through it. I don't know, it makes me, and I feel warm inside, I don't know. But when I'm upset and when there's like a sadness and anger going on, like I feel like there's like a vice grip on my heart. And it kind of, it, they're, depending on how bad it is, it can make it really hard to function. So while well, I'm doing this, I'm gonna go in now with our two um, glitter shades and I'm gonna do them with brushes. I think the brushes are gonna pay off a lot better. I actually, because I want there to be a color variation with this palette, I think, no, that's what I said. I don't ever remember. I always point out the colors and then I'm like, what did I say? We're going in with this shade. I think that's what I said at the beginning too, but for some reason I was thinking maybe I said this shade. That's too dark. So we're going with this shade. If, if I if I change my mind just now, I don't know. Who knows? With 2020, it's been <laughs> very challenging to kind of navigate that because there's so much feelings in the world right now. And I'm not going to get political. I definitely have strong opinions on everything. Um, my opinions basically boil down to, there should be no reason why we don't love everybody. We're not doing everything we can to protect other people, whether or not it inconveniences us. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, so I've been very, um, I've we've very much a, a been abiding by the stay at home orders. We don't go out. We haven't been out to a restaurant to eat, to sit down and eat in like since March, I think March 12th maybe was the last time we were out. If I go out, we wear masks. We, we're doing everything we can to try and, and protect those around us that we can. Um, and we've been very fortunate to not have anybody get sick yet, knock on wood. Um, but I do know people who are, have been sick and recovered. Um, people who have been sick and are still struggling with the aftermath of it. Um, I've known some people who've lost people. So, I mean, I definitely have seen the ramifications of that. And then you go with all of the other issues, the, the racial injustice that we have going on, everything else. So there's just been so much pain and sadness. And as an empath, you feel it all and you really wanna be able to do something about it. And you know, you can do your part, but the, there's it takes a, it takes a whole lot of people together to make change. So 
it's just been a really overwhelming feeling lately and it's been like it's been hard to just kind of function um honestly the fact that i am still going into work is as annoying as it can be and scary as it can be because just because i work in the middle of the night my sleep schedule is like messed up i mean messed up it's been a nice distraction to still have something that is inspiring me to go and kind of act normal every day at the beginning of like quarantine and, and everything, I was getting ready every day, doing makeup every day, just like I normally would, um, even though I wasn't necessarily going anywhere. And then so at some point in the past couple weeks, I've just kind of lost motivation. I mean, I've gone like five days without putting on makeup and then I'll, well, uh, really I'm just putting on makeup to film at this point. And that's hard too. There's been a lot of things that I've had to like change. Like we, Nikki and I both love to drink, not because we're alcoholics, just because we genuinely love the taste of alcohol and we enjoy drinking and, and drinking like leisurely, not as like, oh, let's binge drink and get drunk. But during quarantine, the start of it, like especially Nikki was furloughed for a month. And so we just were like, we would film and we would drink all day and it was just bad and it was making me worse. And so I, now I only drink once a week. That's how I limited myself. It was like, I'm just gonna not drink during the week. I'm gonna like cut out, cut out like, I was drinking coffee again in the middle of the night because I had cut out coffee for a while and I started drinking that again. I was like, no, I gotta cut that down too because my caffeine tank's crazy and it's like messing me up even more. So it's just, I know 2020 has been hard for a lot of people and I would just, other people are feeling it too. You're not alone if you're sad or if you're finding like motivation hard. And, and I'm trying so hard not to be like, negative about anything because in so many ways we've been incredibly blessed and there's not a lot for me to complain about because we are still healthy and and you know we are luckily still working and and it's just it's such a damn challenge and then trying to like <laughs> trying to explain it on camera has been even more challenging it's this was a heavy topic for today's video i'm sorry i'm sorry if today's topic was too heavy but i also want you guys to like see you know all of me i want you to understand like you know, my emotions, and I also want to understand your emotions. Um, I think that's a big thing. Like if you guys are feeling the same way or if you guys have empathic tendencies as well, I would love to hear about it. I'd love to talk to you guys about it because it is something that like, I think unless you kind of experience it, you don't fully understand. Because I know when I was little, I had somebody tell me that they were an empath and I was kind of like, oh, okay. And then now that I'm older, I'm like, holy crap. I totally understand. I understand the issues. I understand like, I understand, I just understand now. Let's let's jump back on topic for a second. This, I like what's happening here. I'm, I'm shocked, I wasn't expecting to. I don't like the glitter shade at all. It just, I'm gonna say Makeup Revolution has like some really nice glitter shades and some of them just like when you, as soon as you rub a brush on it, it just cakes up. And I don't know how to explain it other than like the whole texture of it just changes. And it's almost like you have to like scrape it, but it still applies so I can't hate it too much. Just doesn't as apply as well as I would like for it to, but I'm liking what happened here. Like this is looking, this is looking good to me. I'm, I'm a fan of this. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the dark green. And then we're gonna do the same thing to this eye. And then I'm gonna go off camera, do my mascara, and we're gonna come back and see how the final product looks. I would say, I actually think if I had to pick out my favorites from the collection, I think I would go with the the other green one because the, the other case of the other one was green and then the this pink one and then the yellow one and then this green one. I think this one's my least favorite. So yeah, that's, I'll go, when I go off camera to do my mascara, I'll bring them all so I, you can see, have a visualization instead of me just poorly explaining them to you. But yeah, but I think that would be how I would rank them. They actually are pretty decent. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with, with what we were able to do with these. I do think, definitely not a dupe, still stand by that. They're not a dupe for Huda stuff. Um, her collection is, a, I mean, it's a lot more expensive, but it's just different colors. And in, in my opinion, it does kind of come off a little bit more neon than what we've got going on right now. But that doesn't mean I don't think that this is a good collection. I do actually think that this is a pretty decent little collection, especially when you think that you can pick one of these guys up for $9. I think that definitely makes it um, worth checking out. Maybe not get all four, but pick out your favorite and, and perhaps try one of those perhaps, if you if you are so inclined to. I'm gonna go do mascara and I'm gonna pick up the other two palettes and then we're gonna come back and see how it looks. All right, this is the final look. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I'm glad I went and grabbed the other palette because it was orange, it wasn't green. I don't know, apparently I'm cracked in a lot of ways. Sorry, y'all. Anyway, so let's rank them. I'm gonna say, I do think, I think this one, this is the Not A Dream. I think this one was my favorite. Um, I think the Party Vibes was my second favorite. I really like the pinks and the purples. 
I know I said that the two pinks were uh, not very different one on the eye, but I do think it still worked out pretty well. A pretty good eye look. Um, I like this side better than I like this side. And normally when I'm using greens and pinks, I always like the green side better. So um, then I would say it's probably um, the, this one is the Electric Dreams. This one is probably gonna be the best one if you want neutrals. I mean, it did come out yellowish, but it still is more neutral than any of the other palettes. And then um, my least favorite, still don't dislike it, but just my least favorite is the Up All Night, which is this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this little series. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to me talk about Rocky with the first part and then with my empathic tendencies this time. Sorry if it was confusing, it's just a lot. I didn't realize how much it was gonna be to sit down and like kind of explain to you guys how I see emotions. It's very weird. Um, yeah, I'll promise I'll get better with it when I start talking about that kind of stuff. But, um, but yeah, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments. I always love reading um, what you guys have to say. I try and respond, but if I don't know that I read it and I love you guys and I appreciate all of your, um, your beautiful comments, every time. If you uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, consider doing that. We're fun here, so just hit the subscribe button. And yeah, other than that, I hope you guys are all safe and healthy and you have a wonderful day and stay girly with the dark twist.